everyone. Welcome to City Stadium in Richmond, Virginia, as we get you ready for USL soccer once again for the third time this season. The Charlotte Independents and the Richmond Kickers are going to square off. They have split their first two decisions, Richmond winning at home 3 to nothing, and then Charlotte winning at Charlotte 3 to nothing. Mike Neville along with Mark Bushman. And Mark, uh, the Charlotte Independents looking at their stats, a very low-scoring team, but they're also a pretty decent defensive team. Yeah, before we get talking about that, Mike, I want to say congratulations to you as a new <laughs> grandpa. Thank you. Big fan in the uh, in the Neville household this week. So congratulations Thank brother, on that one. Thank you. But, but yeah, back to the matter of hand. Yeah, Charlotte Independence, not a great offensive team. Although Ryan Finley is a very, very good goal scorer, a very exciting player with yep. three goals. They've only given up eleven, so it's a lot of one nothing and nothing, nothing type of games. Which has scored a lot of goals. They've scored thirteen. Given up a few more than I think right. Coach Lee Kalashaw would like. But both teams Taking the U.S. Open Cup, the Columbus crew of Major League Soccer. Ooh, nicely chipped that over and in. The ball was played back to Lish, and nicely was able to read it and chip it, chip it over the goalkeeper. Well, I can honestly say I haven't seen that in a while. Well, we, we talked about Lish being his first game. A little miscommunication mark between there and between him and the defender. Well, the defender was saying that Yisley pushed him out of the way. And, you know, even if he did, you, you don't stop on the play. And that's what happened. Right. The, the defenders just stop. You've you got to help your goalkeeper out a little bit. Don't make him have to make a big save that early. Defender, Yisley at the end line, cross, and an oh, easy wow. tap in goal for Delhi. Wow. His sixth of the year from Yisley. And just like that, Richmond is on top two to nothing. Well, you know, it was a great, great play there in the center of the midfield with a nice little uh, play between Davis and Owusu, knocking the ball around. Yisley winning in the corner here over Jerome. Winning that ball there. Jerome looks... ...him last week because we really thought it was a... Serious. Nope, Martinez. There, it is. there yeah. it is. Alex Martinez. Yeah, I thought I said about Martinez. He needed to calm him down and then of course Asante is not going to be happy about that right. so he's going to retaliate I wouldn't be surprised I think both players probably need to get yellows here yeah so Alex Martinez who is uh, Herrera approaches hits it off the and post it. off the post so Herrera bots the player the penalty kick opportunity but Charlotte maintains possession And it remains one nothing. George Davis the fourth. Nice job of anticipating. Waiting this long throw in from Yisley. And Delhi got a head on it. Yambi got it. Oh, and Lish has to make a diving stop. I believe it might have been Roberts. The yeah, guy. it was. It was Roberts, not Yambi, but uh, good stuff from And lost possession momentarily, but it squirts free to Ombi. He's got Troyer on the overlap, finds him. And Troyer's cross into the box. Oh, Lish got a piece of, oh, a follow-up shot was blocked. Or on the road. Right. But lots and lots of, lots of home games for, uh, for Richmond over the next several weeks. You want to make sure you get out here to City Stadium if you can't get out for the uh, U.S. Open Cup game on the 17th. Well done, and there's a pass right to Herrera, and he puts it in. He was left all alone right at the penalty uh, box, right at the, uh, where you take the penalty kicks. And he didn't miss with the left foot. Now nah, he might have missed the penalty kick earlier, but boy, he wasn't going to miss that one. He had all kinds of time. Well-deserved goal from yeah. Charlotte. They've really, they've had the pressure since the first minute. Nicely and Duckett and now Ownby. Let's all just join in. It all started when Jerome went over the back of Nicely. Oh, they're going to say it's a throw-in. They said the ball did go over the sideline. Got to be coming up on the last minute or so. Ball cleared to midfield. Heminu settles. He'll pound it towards the Richmond goal. Ball squirts free. Noonan and Taylor collided. And Taylor, whoa. And the next game. <laughs> wow. Right at the end, Taylor collided, I believe, with Garner or Callahan. Callahan, I think. The ball squirted free. 
But Taylor was able to regroup and get it just as the whistle blew to end this contest. And Enzo Martinez is upset. Enzo Martinez has been upset since he walked on the field. Him and Al Alex Martinez both. So the Richmond kickers, two to one, is the final. The kicker. Matt Delicate. And that's your starting lineup for the Richmond Kickers. Again, this is the third of four meetings this season between the Kickers and the Charlotte Independents. These two teams will meet again later on this month on June 26th in Charlotte. Right now, we are going to have our national anthem as we get you ready for the opening kickoff this afternoon.